Hey guys, this is Cody with Pool Parts To Go. Today we're looking at the MyBot in-ground robotic pool cleaner. This guy is completely independent of the rest of your pool system and comes with everything you need to have an automatic pool cleaner. We have a control box that takes standard 110 volt power from the house. It does its magic, which I'll cover in a second, and that power is sent down an insulated cable at only 24 volt DC to power the motors inside of this unit. 24 volt DC was specially chosen because of its safety when used underwater this way. The control box has a few different settings on it. We have a button labeled climb every, and what that does is it sets how often the unit wants to climb the walls to scrub the tile line. A longer climb every setting means it spends more time on the bottom. A shorter climb every setting means it'll spend more time climbing the walls and scrubbing. Cycle time is how long the unit runs for. Setup change is how we change those two settings. And then of course we have a start stop button. This unit's simple to open up and clean out. First, you want to disconnect the metal clip from the support ring. Once that's disconnected, this entire center portion unscrews and we can lift the top up. And now we can see the magic of how this guy works. We have dual filtration baskets. These provide an ultra fine filtration to grab dirt, sand, leaves, sticks, debris, everything out of the water. They have spring loaded flaps at the bottom so as the debris goes in, it's trapped inside the basket until you open it up to clean it out manually. We have two of those, one for each side, one for as it goes forward and one for as it goes the other way. Another feature of the MyBot is the fluid filled flotation ring. What this does is it comes pre-installed and for pools that are a little bit shallower where we don't quite need the unit pushing down to as deep of depths, it gives the beat cleaner just a little bit more buoyancy to help it stay just a little bit more up, climb a little bit more efficiently. But if you have a deeper pool, a diving pool, things like that, you'd want to remove this and set it aside and run the unit without it. This way it can go to the bottom of the deeper pool and still make itself out of the deep end a little bit better, a little bit more efficiently. We have an easy grab handle for removing the unit from the uh, pool whenever it's time to uh, empty it. You just let it run up the side, grab the handle, and lift it up and onto the deck. It features powered scrubbers, so as it goes across, up and down, up to the tile line, these guys rotate and actually scrub the pool for you, so hey, less brushing. Who likes to do that? To start things off with your MyBot cleaner, you first want to ensure that to start with, this is unplugged from the wall. We can then remove the protective cap from the low voltage port and inside of the cable for the cleaner there's a little notch on one uh, around the inner circumference. You want to make sure that that is upward so the notch is along this side right here as you plug it in. You'll kind of feel it line up and as you push it in you can then screw that in and that's a nice tight watertight connection for all weather. From there you can then plug the control box into the wall. You can use the setup change button to choose your options for the climb every and for the cycle time. Climb every adjusts how often it climbs the wall. A higher climb every setting means it will climb the wall less and spend more time on the bottom. A lower climb every setting means it will spend more time scrubbing the walls and tile line for you. And of course cycle time is how long it runs in the water before it shuts itself down so you can pull it out and clean it. Setup change is how you adjust those and then start stop is how you start and stop the unit.